on today's topic, on today's rant, because I've gone through a lot of them, let's talk about masculine presenting individuals going into feminine spaces. Let's get into it. Let's digress. Don't come for me. This is just my thoughts, my opinions. Compare and contrast, contradictory. I like to say that's what I am. Let's go. Let's get away from the gender politics and let's get into this. I'm sure if you go into the bathroom and you see a bunch of masculine presenting burly men in high heels a tank top with fake boobs and mascara on you are going to be shocked you are going to have some sort of reaction you are going to feel uncomfortable or just weird it out or just like what is going on here i understand it's 2023 but i want to take a piss and this is just like no side eye now that is not gonna happen on your everyday day to day but when people think of trans women going into bathrooms that is just the image that comes into people's mind like they're thinking strong man olympia 2023 freaking steroid jacked man trying to parade on kids pedophilia that is where everybody mindset is going that is just people following sheep people un being uneducated and just a general fair i'm afraid of men when i go into the bathroom with other men i'm always like hmm People think, oh, because you're gay, you're trying to sneak a peek. No, I'm just trying to piss and get out because I don't want to be jumped or something. I'd be like, especially in Canada, these men are huge over here. I don't know what they're feeding them. I don't think that trans masculine or masculine individuals, masculine presenting, male presenting individuals should be going into female spaces, into female bathrooms. I do not think that. This goes for trans men, trans women, and biological men as well. I understand you're trying to make a point, but that is not the point to be made here. Okay, because you're going to have kids, you're going to have parents generally afraid if they see this happening. And it's not to be rude, it's not to be bigoted, it's just that why am I seeing this male presenting person in a space where, in a very intimate space such as a female's bathroom? Look at it that way. It's literal just self-respect, people. That's all people are asking for, self-respect. It's common courtesy. We have common sense. I feel like we've, we we tend to forget just common self and, and self-respect back in order to suit the gender politics in order to suit the way the way the way the world is trying to form right now currently i'm all for, i'm a non-binary individual i'm all for respecting people but i also understand the spaces i belong in the spaces i should be in as a male presenting person on some days i i'm gonna go into a male presenting bathroom most days either way Let's get something clear. If you want to stand up, if you want to riot, if you want to protest for LGBTQ rights, that is perfectly fine. The bathroom as a male presenting person in a female space, it's not okay. It's just not because you are just feeding those stereotypes. A lot of, wom a lot of women have fear of men, rightfully so. And I understand not all men are the same. Or you, and I understand people be like, but I'm a trans. Like They're just being you know, rude or discrimination or that. Like I say, rightfully so. A lot of women have a fear of men. A lot of men have a fear of men. And you know what? This goes for trans women too. Trans women should not be in feminine presenting trans women should not be in male's bathroom, male spaces. Because guess what? Men are going to be men. Niggas are going to be niggas. And you come in there looking all cute with your feminine makeup on, your tits done, your boob done, your lips done, your nose and your eyes done, your knees done, white chick style. Do not be surprised, and this is why it's so high, where trans um, activities or on trans people are happening and are so underreported when trans people are harassed in these spaces. There should be just common policy, common understanding, common knowledge that if you are a male presenting individual, even if you are a trans woman, if you are male presenting, I'm talking beard, hair, lips voice but you identify as trans as long as you're still male presenting to the general public you should go in a space in a that is more conform to your appearance you have gay guys with makeup on heels on lips on all the time going in the men's bathroom in full glam it's it's fine this is the modern day area straight men are used to seeing gay men frolicking in the bathrooms at this point at least i hope so and I understand you as a trans person does not, do not owe anybody passing. You do not know society, any type of um, cisgender passing, biological woman passing, biological male passing. You do not deserve to pass 
to be a part of this society, to belong in this society. But unfortunately, this society is not going to accept that. And we have to also acknowledge that that can lead to a gateway of problems. You can, in fact, have people using that as an excuse to sneak a peek. Because we can hold all people accountable. And like I say, men are going to be men. I've seen my own fair share of grown men. They're not even trying to be trans or anything. They're just running into the bathroom just to hear a girl scream, just to make them like they act like it's a joke. I've seen the prank videos. I've seen in person men just doing this just to watch people scream, watch the girls scream or make a ruckus just for fun, shits and giggles. Heck, I've also seen women doing it. Go into the bathroom that best suits your general appearance just to create less of a hassle for everyone else. Because you do have straight women being attacked now in the news because people are thinking that they're trans for going into the wrong bathrooms. Respect, love each other, care for each other, but also understand where each individual are coming from, from both sides. I do not want to see any more trans people being hurt in the name of protesting because of situations such as this that can be avoided if we can do it until non-binary, non-gender confirming bathrooms become publicly available all across the world wide for everyone to come or we come to a common space where common decency and things such as pedophilia and freaking gender political bargaining is no longer the top mindset to people when they think of the LGBTQ and specifically the trans community until we come to a point where that is not the way the human mindset is just respect everyone's boundaries just so I would like them to respect mine respect theirs